Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and good day to the citizens of this world. What I have to say today is probably the most important thing that I have said up to now. I will cover four subjects in detail, and each subject will be shocking. However, solutions are given and will be provided. For you to see the supporting documents of the things that I'm going to show you and the things that I'm going to disqualify, you can see below on my website. First of all, I'm going to address the question of the votes in the US, the so-called voting fraud. As I have warned you, the information that I'm about to provide you with and the solutions will be shocking. And because of the global nature and because it will affect billions of people, I need you to share this information with as many people as you possibly can. It must reach the millions, if not the hundreds of millions, so they get they so they can understand what has been going on for hundreds of years. First of all, I'm going to go on to the question of a mortgage, what is known as a death pledge. For those individuals that have got a mortgage, within that a mortgage agreement, even though it is written in Babel, in fiction language, it gives the mortgage company what is known as all powers of attorney. All powers of attorney is even greater than the general powers of attorney, which is widespread. But the all powers of attorney, and yes, it is in fiction lang language, and you've got to appreciate that. The all powers attorney allows the attorney working for the bank, who is essentially another word for the government itself, because they have to have a license from the government. That power, that all power of attorney, gives that particular attorney and all members within that attorney group, like the Bar Association, which is a global organization, they're the ones that run your courts and wear black uniform, what is a, a uniform essentially known as a black robe, marking respect for the dead. I'm not going to go on too much about the court system, but that general power also extends, and this is the horror, the real horror to the people in the US. That is why when I wake up tomorrow morning, it, this video, this presentation, have to have gone to millions of people. The horror is that any, any Bar Association member that has authorization from his group, like the Bar Association, has the ability to cast your vote for the US elections or any elections on this planet. The elections are not rigged, rigged ladies and gentlemen. You have given them all powers of attorney in their fictional quasi world. In giving the powers of attorney, they have been casting your votes. So let us make some distinction. At this moment, you have what is known as Donald John Trump, who is the president in the United States Corporation, who's running against him is Joseph Biden, albeit his full name is Joseph, middle name, which I've forgotten, it's of no consequence, is a lawyer. And as a lawyer, and because the power of attorney in your credit cards and in your mortgage agreements gives them in their quasi world the power to cast the votes on your behalf as well. So when you hear about the voter steal or stop stealing the votes, 
what is essentially happening. What they are describing to you is that by a proxy, you have given an attorney or any attorney, and you can see these documents right in front of your face by just going onto my website and having a look at it. It gives them the power to cast your vote. So sweeping are these all powers of attorney that they get to say who and how your children are educated. Who owns your children? Who owns your property? Your car? The hospital? What happens to your organ? And in common law, language, property is yourself. In other words, they also have a say in how your world and your body is going to be controlled. So, what I am saying to you is that Biden, who's a lawyer, Trump, who is not a lawyer, is essentially casting votes. So when the voters turn up to those booths to make their votes, not elect, they don't have the power to elect, but when they turn up and they are turned away to say that you have already casted your vote, what they are saying to you is that your powers of attorney the attorney that you gave the powers to has made the vote on your behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, what I am revealing to you is so disgusting to the very core of who and what we are in faith and in trust. To produce such fraudulent documents, such, and wanting for a better word, such elements of witchcraft and such such pernicious behavior amongst these solicitors and lawyers who are licensed prostitutes. So disgusting is it that the bankers who have been perpetrating this crime in collusion with your own government which I will be going into detail very soon. I am now letting you know the entire planet, the entire globe, the unity states of our world corporation as well. Those powers of attorney, those general powers of attorney by the mortgage companies, by the banks, by the governments, sanctioned by the governments, yes, by your own government, are null and void. They have been parsed and syntaxed which means that we have shown the fraud on the document. Every single human being on this planet that has a mortgage and taught unwittingly, yes unwittingly, signed away of what is known as a all powers of attorney, I emphasize this word all, is null and void on a global scale. No bank, no loan company, no credit card, no student loan, nobody, not nobody, has the power of attorney over you on a global scale. As the Federal Postal Courts have done this, I beg your pardon, no plural, as the Federal Postal Court has done this, to safeguard this entire planet. I will make this very clear to you. The pernicious act, the vulgar, disgusting act of hoodwinking, lying and cheating on paper, so we have the evidence, to think that you can get away with this again and again, especially when you live in the post-era of David Wayne Miller. And you think you can get away with this in this brand new corona period, a new birthing. Because nobody, no company, no president, no prime minister, no bank, no bankster, no lawyer, no attorney, which are all negative states of condition, 
has any power of attorney over anybody. Full stop. Because of this, the county court, the county court run by the county coroner, has no powers of attorney. It has been not given to him. Now if you look up the Attorney General, if you look up some of the county court coroners who, does, who do not need to be medically certified are solicitors and lawyers practicing their so-called power of attorney. And by a proxy they can move it to anybody else, like for example another lawyer called Biden. What I am saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, and I have to repeat myself, the consequences of us, the Federal Postal Court, and the judges, and the clerks, and the staff, and the sheriffs, and the, and the entire system that runs a court has disqualified this as nothing more than fraudulent. This includes banks and mortgage companies like uh, Fannie Mae, in this country, mortgage companies, which, which you see right in front of you. And these are the documents that we have disqualified, and they have been certified as being disqualified by the Chief Federal Postal Court Judge, Alex, and the Planet Potentiary Judges as well. If I have not made it clear to you, let me make it very clear. Because it's on paper, we have forensics evidence that you have been lied to. And if you guys and ladies have any question as to what is going on, I've given you a level of closure that very few people on this planet is willing to share with you. Ladies and gentlemen and the citizens of the... On this, Ladies and gentlemen, and the citizens of this world, liars lie because they know the truth. And we have shined a torch upon such documents <coughs> and shown it to be fraud. The consequences is that the sheriffs, the court systems, no matter what courts it is, any governments have no power of attorney over you by fault or by default. Because you was kept ignorant <coughs> and ignorance voids contract. Because you was not told by the authors of these contracts that there are other underlying facts that you have to know about. It voids contract. The fact that it's been written in a language known as a gibberish disqualifies these documents. No sheriff, no court system, no clerk, no bailiff, no debt collector agency, any one of these people or any one of these corporations has any say in the matter of power of attorney. We have disqualified it. I will revisit this subject after I've gone through some of the other subjects which are all tied in. The Benjamin Franklin First Postmaster General was founded in 1775, which was also disqualified by David Wayne Miller, making him the, fed, the postmaster. That, that flag, that language which he disqualified with, still stands on the geometric level playing field of every land of contract, i.e., any courtrooms where anybody gathers to make contract. That includes the churches as well and definitely within the city states. 
no constable who are known as public safety officers, constables, is allowed to ever exercise power of attorney because they don't have it. It's been withdrawn globally as of now. I will come on to the subject of what is foreign and foreign immunity to tie this in at a later stage. I will now change subjects and as I said to you the subject matter of how the voting system is rigged and has always been rigged revolves around the bank accounts that you have, the credit cards that you have and the mortgages which is a death pledge you have. If you have not understood that the all powers of attorney really is a death pledge then you need to educate yourself. The other element of what the governments do is called pirateering and I will explain in detail what that is. Governments, because they are in the public and because the military are there to serve the public as well as their various representative bodies which also are now disqualified including the existing Postmaster General. The existing Postmaster General in the US and in any country in the world has already been disqualified. Any President, Prime Ministers taking orders from him cannot take any orders. The only, only court system are the only people that you can take orders from or commands is the correct word is from the Federal Postal Court judges. The governments, because they are in the, in the public, I beg your pardon, and cannot be seen to practice all manner of privateering, all manner of warfare, all manner of belligerence, and what would be illegal activity, pillaging, raping, so on and so forth cannot be seen doing that. So what the governments do is that they hire somebody from what is known as the private and they give them a contract. Once they have that contract, say from a crown corporation like the City of London and there are many of these half-witted, of witless corporations all over the world, Denmark, whatever it is. Actually I withdraw that because I don't know about Denmark but there are many others. I am focusing at this moment on the city of London, but not exclusively, as an example. They hire private persons, whether it's an individual or a person with guns, a ship, a car, a lorry, and they commission them to go and do warfare or belligerence or go and get citizens kidnap them, hold them to ransom and the various things that you have come to understand as being piracy. When they have this contract in place, that contract becomes what is known as privateer. These privateers now will go and do the bidding that the Navy cannot do openly because they will disgrace themselves in the eyes of the public but are more than willing to aid and bet privateers performing these things. Also very colourfully as films like Pirates of the Caribbean. Even though it is set in history, the Pirates of the Caribbean are public advertising as to what is going on in current days. So when that movie was released, that is what was going on. What you are watching is the dramatization, which convolutes things. These acts of privacy, privacy, uh, piracy, because it's been sanctioned by a government, will now authorize what is known as a mark and repraisal. 
When you hear this word that you're a marked man, it means the government essentially has given and taken out a contract on your name, whether that is for pillaging or to organ harvest or to kidnap or an entire nation of people. And the reprisals, as you can imagine, what it means is that as if they are going after you for some purposes of revenge as opposed to vengeance. Because the navy, which comes from the word navel, as in the baby being born, and the navy attaches itself to the navel of the baby, hence protecting the baby, are there for your safeguard. And as a result of this privateering, I am banning the use. I am banning the use of all governments ever engaging in private and privateers and giving them marks and appraisals, which have been reprisals, I beg your pardon, which have been disqualified. I'll repeat myself again. Governments are the largest sponsors of privateers. And because these privateers have got a mark, a letter from a crown corporation to go and get entire groups of people, entire nations, fleets, civil vessels, whatever it is, houses, cars, they're all privateers are working on a mark. I am banning this use. As a result, the government has to stay in the public and is not allowed to go into the private. If they do, I will disqualify your city-states as well. I'm going to now elaborate on the consequences of what this is on a global scale. Because these privateers no longer have a contract or a mark, to go and get civilian populations. They have now become racketeers, which means that they are breaking the law. International law, maritime law, and every law that you can possibly imagine. You are now lone vessels with no protection from any government, and you have no access to international waters. Such organizations as what you call mercenaries are privateers. Mercenaries that you hear about day and night. Mercenaries in the US, mercenaries in Europe, mercenaries in Africa, in China. They're all sanctioned by other governments who does not want to get and be seen to have their hands bloodied. Your hands are already bloodied. And I have just taken away of you using privateers. One of the most famous families that practice privateering and sanctioned by the US government is the Bush family. As you know so well and if not comically as banksters. Yes, they are privateers. That is why they were extensively protected by the government. You no longer have protection from any government in the world. I think you already know that, don't you, Bush family? The debt collecting agencies which harass so many of the people on this planet, they are also privateers. They have no voice, no contract anymore. Because I have removed that contract of all powers of attorney, which is in Babel, of course. It's been disqualified. You pirateers are now nothing more than existing a life of RICO. RICO law. And eventually, the Federal Postal Court judge, which is me, and a whole heap of other people and planet potentiary judges are coming for you. Your world 
has just come to an end. Your sense of security has come to an end. And those governments which like to show their hands to be so very green have now shown their hands to be so very bloody. Coming on to movies like Pirates of the Caribbean, as well as all so many of the subliminal messages there, movies like Pirates of the Caribbean, what they do is they try to convince you that the governments and the navy work day and night hunting down these pirates to take them out of the inland waterways, which are called roads that work day and night to take them out of the international waters. Yes, they have the right to do that as well. Because a pirate, a pirateer that, that hunts other vessels is cannibalistic. And I'll come on to that later on. If anybody has not understood what language fraud is, or fraudulent conveyance of language, which is how this is all being taking place. Let me give you an example. If I was in the military, and I'm responsible for taking this document to another general that this general gave to me, and on the way I doctored and bastardized the language, altered the original commands on that document, what do you think my sentence would be? What do you think my sentence would be? I think it's something close to a firing squad, is it not? I, will, I would like to give you one more example, if not several, a bigger part, and let me re revise that. I want to give you several examples how pernicious language fraud is and the consequences of what I am telling you. How many of you would have ever signed or autographed a death pledge if they advertised it truly for what the meaning of the word is. Come inside into this bank and buy yourself a death pledge. This is how pernicious they are. And because nobody would ever buy a death pledge, they write it in French and then say, well, you should have known. Well, that's just about caught up with you. And boy, has it caught up with you. Let us take this language fraud a little bit more further in the powers of attorney. We both know if I said to you, your friend, your friend that lives down the road, your hypothetical friend, was a moral person, a immoral person, which means both the same thing. A as a prefix in front of a word moral makes it a person with no morals. Can you imagine how disgusting a religion would be for you to wholesomely and in good faith say a prayer like our Father which art in heaven and then teach yourself and your children to seal that prayer by saying Amen. We know that A as in amoral means no. So it is a prayer said by no man. These words, ladies and gentlemen, just like mortgages, just like the all powers of attorney, the lies, the deceptions, have a profound effect upon your psyche, have a profound effect upon your psychomotor skills, because as you know, your subconscious mind and other other functions of your body and your mind are responsible for 99, if not 99.99% of all other functions and what you have is the conscious mind that the illusion that you are in control of anything well if you was in control of anything would you have ever signed a death pledge would you have ever signed a all powers of attorney where you've essentially sold your children as well and the organs to be harvested the horrors of what I am describing to you took me years to put together and bring to you with so many attacks and character attacks upon me. It is my consistency 
and with the help of my fellow man that I bring this to you. Because liars lie because they know the truth. If I have not made it very clear, let me make it very clear. All governments do not have access to privateers. If you do, you will be put in FEMA camps. And I'll be speaking about that as well. And you do not have the use of marks. You do not have the right or any other right to take out marks on people. What the gangster movies would call contracts out on people. And because privateers are non null and void, what do you think such institutions like Lloyd's, the insurance company, now has? You have no access to privateers. You have no access at all. And if you think you are going to ask for grace from your God, let me make it very clear, I know the bank account of your God and I will freeze that account. Because of the nature of this subject and because I have, we have disqualified, the Federal Postal Court and its judges have disqualified the use of the all powers of attorney and the use of privateers and marks and reprisals, reprisals, I beg your pardon. I am now authorizing the opening of the FEMA camps. The FEMA camps are federal camps to take people out of the public and into an encampment as a confinement policy because Lawyers, judges, and any officers, including sheriffs and deputies and police officers, that involve themselves in all manner of powers of attorney, are racketeering. And you are a public hazard. So in the US, as of now, I am authorizing Donald John Trump to open the FEMA camps because we have so much evidence that so many of these people have taken money from people, held them hostage, used fraudulent conveyance of language, this is how they did it, to enslave humanity. And slavery is disgusting in every culture on this planet. As a result, you are unfit to be in the public because you're a public hazard. And you have to be confined. Confined in an encampment because also the level of belligerence in which you conduct yourself in the public. For those Individuals who think they know, like the politicians, no longer have access to foreign immunity. The reason why you don't have access to it is because you don't have a contract. You don't have a contract and you are a foreign agent. And because you have no contract, let alone in the correct sentence structure, passe syntax, grammar, where one word equals one meaning and one meaning per sentence. You cannot even claim to come from another land and to be foreign to this country. What you are is an invader. And no other country and no department in the US or any other departments can claim foreign immunity. No judge, no clerk, no courtroom, no faith, Nobody can claim foreign immunity from this one world, from this one unity states of our world corporation with one language, one flag, with one ocean. Look it up, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the one world, the one world of humanity and mankind. So 
when you hear the president in the US or any other presidents or prime ministers saying that, oh well, this particular pol politician in her department, say for example, the foreign department is claiming foreign immunity, that's removed. But listen to what I have just said. How can a department in the US, albeit in the Washington DC, District of Columbia, claim to be foreign to Washington DC itself? How can the foreign office claim to be foreign? Do you understand, ladies and gentlemen? They're telling you they are foreign. So do not be surprised when Donald Trump, who I am not in support of, nor am I sanctioning him or doing any of these sort of things, but I have the ability to authorize him. Sorry, beg your pardon. I do have the ability to authorize him to do certain things to be able to protect the citizens of this world. When you hear words like that machine that counts the votes, the name of which I've forgotten, I don't even think I care what the name of it is. When Donald Trump tells you that we don't even know where this machine comes from, we don't know who controls it, who made the software, what he is telling you. What he is telling you is that it is controlled by and was controlled by the all powers of attorney. Which means they don't need to reveal who and what controls those machines. And when he tells you that these machines are doing exactly what they want to do, yes they are because of the all powers of attorney. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to feel I need you to feel the disgust in the, pit of, and in the pit of your stomach as to what I am telling you. You've got to know that you have been lied to it's to such an extent that you never had the ability to cast a vote, let alone elect. You have privateers, racketeers coming at your door, knocking on your door, sent by the court systems and the county court as well as the postmaster generals in each prospective country, which no longer has a contract with any citizen on this planet. We've disqualified it. So if any clerk or judge decides that they're going to test this, I promise you, a FEMA camp is waiting for you. This I promise you. And you are a public hazard. You will not be able to claim foreign immunity under the law of title 1001. And for those people, like the politicians, who are actually foreign to you, or was, can no longer claim that as well. And because they don't have a lien, because they don't have a contract, they are alien to your country. And we don't know what country they come from. It looks like they don't have one. So there is no country for you to run to. Hopefully, I have made it very clear that these people, these banksters, these ones that created the death pledges and the mortgages and the county court coroners who are lawyers and solicitors, etc., no longer have access to any of these things. And I, as a final caution to the conventional courts or any courts, you're only allowed to touch public safety, like driving too fast, taking bad people off the streets, out of the public, and into confined areas. That is only your remit. That is the only contract that you have. Any sheriffs that decides to test this, there is a FEMA camp waiting for you. This also I promise you. Lloyds, as for Lloyds in the city of London, as I made it very clear to you, you don't have access to privateers. 
And as I surrounded your building, I think it was about one and a half years ago, when you shut the building down to protect yourself from one, albeit two people, that turned up at your doorstep as Federal Postal Court judges. I did tell you, if you do not conduct yourself correctly, it'll be correctness that will stop and correct you. I will now talk about the subject of vaccines. There is an order of operation in this, and I'm not going to discuss what type of vaccines for what, but I'm going to tell you what the mechanisms are. Just as I have told you what the actual mechanisms of the voting frauds are and what is the actual mechanisms of privateering, marks and reprisals. Anybody creating a vaccine, the reason why they test it on the animals because it's a toxicity and they are calibrating it to a, a, such a level where the toxicity is not going to overtake the animal because there is only so many of human beings that they are allowed to kill, murder and so on and so forth with the use of fictitious language. Because it is fictitious language, poisoned language that sold the vaccine and they are calibrated poisons. And there has been many peer work done on that. Now they have a vaccine and let's bring in an organisation like the World Health Organisation, which is a corporation. And the World Health Organization decides to buy this vaccine because it's invested so much money into convincing people that there are so many diseases with so many physicians and so many doctors and so many nutritionists will tell you you can get rid of by just eating proper food and drinking clean water. Instead, they will, they will approach a chieftain and this system, including the mortgages, ladies and gentlemen, was sanctioned and run by your chieftains. And if you look up the word, sorry, beg your pardon, if you look up the words of the chieftain in the city of London, called, we'll come on to that later, I beg your pardon, but we'll stay in the dominion of the chieftain, which is another word for a feudal system. They will approach this, that chieftain who is essentially responsible for all the other citizens and they will say, why don't you let us vaccine? Well, of course, fees will be exchanged, full stop. And then, of course, the campaigns would go on that you really do need a vaccine. What it is that I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, however hard the vaccines, however hard the pharmaceutical companies work. None of these things can ever happen without the permission of your own chieftains. So if you are worried in Africa that vaccines that are considered so toxic not to be used on Western people can be administered to the children in Africa, if you are so worried about it, you as African people or Chinese people or the British people or the US people approach your chieftains. You can see the names and their bank accounts on my website. These chieftains are sanctioning these things. You go after the chieftains and we will go after, the Federal Postal Courts will go after the uh, pharmaceutical industry. We'll go after those uh, foundations like Bill Gates Foundation, who no longer have any access to powers of attorney or privateering, another word for mercenaries. This mechanism that I have described to you should strike horror inside of you. And in the UK, you have what is known as a chief commoner. And the chief commoner, if you look up his website, makes it very clear. He owns all minerals, all water rights, all land, all property, all over the place in this part of the world. And guess what property is in common law language? It's your body. So is the minerals. 
I'm not making these things up, ladies and gentlemen. They are there on my website, fully qualified. And it is all done with spellings and casting this type of nakramanzi upon you. I think I have made it very clear that the Bar Association and lawyers and solicitors no longer have any power of attorney or access to privateering. The Temple Bar, the uh, Black Road priests that run the courts, no longer have access to these things. All this comes to an end. The general power of attorney is null and void, and therefore the Attorney Generals no longer have access to that either. Their position in this world is to serve and protect. Anything less, and because they are federal, because you took federal money, because you used the post office, you used stamps, you used monies issued by the post office, and you used their conduits of communication for peaceful means to be belligerent, to harvest, to lie, to cheat, which evidence of which we have, called passe syntax. Well, your place, quite obviously, is an FEMA camp, because you are way too hazardous, and you are contaminating the airways every time you broadcast something. Contaminating the airways is no longer allowed. You are toxic, like poison vapours coming out of a factory chimney. As I have made it very clear, I have and am authorising Donald John Trump to make ready the FEMA camps. I would like, at this stage, before I bring this to an end, to thank two very beautiful people that I knew. One was my little baby brother called Solomon Christopher, who passed away of a broken heart. And David Way Miller, my teacher, trainer and friend, who also passed away with a broken heart, because of a broken heart. The people and the fiction world, the fiction entities, the use of privateerings, privateers, mercenaries, sanctioned by some religious organizations working out of Arizona, Arizona, I beg your pardon, will not, these things will not go unpublished and they will not go unpunished. And because you have used the Federal Postal Courts routes, and because you have used the Federal conduits of the World Contracting Venue to contaminate and disturb those conduits, the consequences are you will be taken out of the public and confined within a FEMA camp. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening to me. We have done this to safeguard this planet. For those people that know they can no longer enter this brand new Corona era with a death pledge, all you have to do is email me and start the process. In this era, in this Corona period, Corona means a new birthing. When a baby is being born, it's called a crowning moment. And that's what Corona means in Latin. You cannot enter this world, this new birthing, with so many death pledges, sins, and so on and so forth. Under understand and comprehend the significance of what I am saying to you. How can you be birthed into a mortgage? How can you be birthed into a credit card and debt. The Catholic Church may well indeed convince you you are born in sin. The sin is not yours but theirs. So once again ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much for listening to me. Bye bye now.